Last week, I bought a Pokemon card in a pawn shop for $750. As a full-time eBay reseller, I'm always out there looking for items that I can flip for a profit. But on this occasion, I think I paid a little bit too much. I just got a bit too excited and I bought the wrong item. There's just no profit in this one. It's only worth the $750 that I paid for it. So I've listed it up onto eBay. It hasn't sold over the course of a week. So I'm resorting to going out into the thrift stores to try and find items that I can sell for a profit to hopefully make up the $750 that I've just spent. We made $400. $416 in episode one, trying to find $334 in episode two. So let's get into it. Strap yourselves in, guys. It is a very big start in the DVD section. Malcolm in the Middle, volumes one to four. I should be able to get about $100 for this in brand new condition. If you can find all seven seasons, you'll get yourself some money. There was another one here as well, Third Rock from the Sun. Oh, my God. Goes for about 60 bucks on eBay, so this was a really good pickup for just the $10, so I was happy to find that. It really gave me a bit of motivation to think that maybe resellers hadn't yet been in this space, so I really spent a bit of time, as you can see here, digging through all of the DVDs, and I mean every single one of them. And I came away with some unbelievable finds, including one of the rarest DVDs you can find to sell on eBay. This one here, come fly with me, goes for about $30. That top comp, $27.50. I got it already sold. That one's out the door. This one here as well, should get, get I reckon about $15 to $20 for this one. My name is Bruce. I was really looking for anything that comps up anywhere between sort of $10 to $15 plus. The Rockford Files, if you can find this in complete entirety, that's going to go for some big money. Happy to pick up just the one season there. But guys, this one right here, fast forward. It's an Australian old sitcom TV show. A bit of a comedy from back in the day. I had no idea about this. Did a bit of research. Had a look at the comps on eBay. My goodness. We're talking $150 to $200 a piece. The entire set, volumes one to four, goes for $600. This thing is the mecca of DVDs, and I've got it right here, volumes three and four, guys. So I'm going to list these up for $150 a piece. One of the wildest DVD purchases I've ever found in thrift. I've also got these two as well. They go for a couple of bucks each, 30 a piece. Piece on these. So the fast forward set that we're able to find here in the thrift, I paid just a total of $10 and I'm able to come away with at least maybe you know $360 worth of value, which is just madness. Add that to all the rest of it, we've done really, really well. There we go. Look at that. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. So 39. 39. All right. Thank you very much, guys. No problem. And that, my friends, is how you turn $39 into $500. Just a quick update on the Charizard. It's now got about 150 listing views, I think, and four people are watching it. I did have a counter offer um, submitted to me for $700, which I declined. They started at 500 and they worked themselves up to 700. And I was going as low as 900, but we just couldn't obviously get it done. There was too much of a disparity there, but it's, uh, it's nice to see at least somebody out there wanted to pay 700 for it. Going to step away from the media for just a second, guys. I've got these uh, really good pair of jeans here. A good brand for you guys to be looking out for. If you haven't heard of it, new is the brand. It goes for about 50 bucks. These are the Iggy Skinnies, 34 waist, 32 length. Thanks very much. That's a fantastic size. I've got these ones as well. The uh, These are the Levi Strauss 603s, 35 waist, 34 length. Although there had been a bit of a hem up on these ones, so I'm going to have to do some work to get that back to original size. I've got these, the Asics Gel Ultimate. Um, really good pair of footy boots here. Should get about 40 bucks. I'm paying the 10 $10 today here in the thrift, but that's okay. There's still enough meat in the sandwich, so I'll take them away. These are the Adidas NMDR ones. I've done a number of these guys. They weren't in the flashest of condition, but the flash was the price point, just the $9 there. So I've gone ahead and taken those. They were a really good pair of shoes. It should do about 40 bucks for me. This one here, just a really quick winner here, guys. 15 bucks, not too bad on the Mortal Kombat. Bit of a deal running in there, three for five, but I could only find the one on this occasion. Jumped into another store, and we've got Outrageous Fortune Season 5. Only going to get me about six bucks in profit, but I'm going to take it. Good sell through rate and Team Wolf to round it out. Similar result there. Hopefully, you're getting some enjoyment out of these videos, guys. I noticed that 55% of you have not hit that little red button down below. It is such a big way to support the channel, and I really do appreciate it. So, if you can just hit that button, just tap the button for me. That'd be great.
Well, guys, I found myself back in the media section yet again. And look, for good reason, I found this one here, Jeanette King. This one goes for about 60 bucks plus postage. So how can you say no to that for $9? I just love this category, guys. There's so much money in the DVDs. Uh, Rizzoli and Isles, if you can find this as well. Look, I'm paying up a little bit for this DVD, but it goes for about $18. So I've got to do that. If you can find this set of seven, the closer, it goes for over $120. So I'm actually going to go and pick it up for the purpose of trying to get the collection later on down the line. Haven, I've got this one as well um, goes to some pretty decent money all of these dvds are about three to four dollars which is definitely high end this one here brand new and sealed for five dollars but all of the resale value lies twenty dollars plus that's why i'm going ahead with the purchase 902 and oh talk about bolo dvds guys i'm going to pick these up for six seven dollars a piece i'll show you why a little bit later in the video but these all go for about thirty dollars each i'm actually only pinching the higher seasons because they're the ones that are most sought after for people to try and complete their collection. But uh, yeah, good little grab there. This was the shot that I took as I was walking in. I spied these shoes. They're the Nike Air Max 1s. Really cool colorway. Put it up to you guys in an Instagram viewer poll question. And you guys actually said to drop them. So for $35, I ended up doing that. But I kind of regret it. I kind of wish I did go ahead with the purchase. I had a loyalty card, guys. That is why I went ahead with the DVD purchase. Uh, getting $20 off means I should be able to make a heap of profit. One really quick tip that I've got for you guys, when you're buying your items out in the thrift, make sure you bring them home and then try to list them up within the first 24 hours of buying them. You're gonna be more motivated to wanna to list up the items straight away. You're gonna get sick of it and it's gonna go into a death pile the longer you leave it. So my little tactic that I've done for really quite a while now, almost actually since the start, because I've never had a death pile, is I just get back home, I get on the listing table and I start taking my photos and list those guys up for sale. It's a crucial step and a lot of people do avoid it. Let me know in the comments below if you list the same day that you purchase. Well, guys, we've been on a tear today, but this has been an absolute mare in this store. There was absolutely no shoes available whatsoever. I had a look at the DVDs, and I thought I found myself a piece of gold here with the Futurama, the complete collection, a really good TV show, but some really poor comps on eBay, and this one was being charged at 10 bucks. There was just absolutely no money to be made in that one there. Uh, went into another store, and I had a look at a few more DVDs because that has been the story of the day. Now, this Simpsons DVD here, season number three, it was the episode that was banned with Michael Jackson in it. Now, people are trying to charge this one up for about 150 to 200 dollars but no one's biting so i actually don't think it's worth that much money and i ended up leaving them behind i did pick up these though these dvds here all range between 10 to 15 dollars to round out a huge day in media just excuse the fact that there's hardly anything in my fridge yet Is anyone else a bit weird like me and enjoy eating breakfast at dinner time or night time? It's currently 11, 10 p.m. on a Sunday and I'm having five wheat bix like I kind of always do uh, after dinner every single night. Just a weird thing that I do. Let me know if I'm the only one. Really good day. I, I wanted to kind of break down a few things for you. I've got 20 sales on this Sunday night to be going out tomorrow. So I'm about to take you through a few of those once I've had my wheat bix and then I just want to tell you how much I made in my financial year from last year. I won't go into the full financial breakdown, but just a gross sales amount to let you know how I'm operating as a full, full time business. So um, let me just punch down my wheat bix and we'll get into the sales that I've got going out tomorrow. So we had two hat sales that came in over the weekend, and you might have got, you guys might have remembered me in a thrift store picking this up not too long ago. It's a Gold Coast Titan snapback hat. Bought it in a thrift store, I paid just the five bucks for it. It's ended up going on to sell for $35. So that was a really good turnaround. This little Tommy Bahama embroidered relax hat as well. That was a really sweet grab. I actually got that at a Goodwill Bins outlet over in the States. Hopefully you guys tuned into those videos. But my Goodwill Bins video, uh, a lot of people have watched that one. It's had a few views, which is nice. But this one here sold for $35. Pay by the pound. Would have probably only paid about a dollar to get my hands on it and I'll be able to get a $35 sale price. So some good sales coming in the USA series. Um, so just the two hats guys, definitely recommend that you play in the hat category if you haven't done so yet. Those two sales looking at $6 into $70. Pretty consistent selling category for me next, guys. We've got the video games here. We've had a good couple of wins here. We've had six sales. I'll, I'll grab these here. I've already looked them out. I've done my due diligence for you guys. Um, look, some really good numbers here. Fours are three and fours are two. So these ones here was a bundle sale. That one went for 20 bucks. Um, would have probably liked to have done that with a console bundle, but just not on this occasion. Uh, driver on the 
PlayStation 3. That one had a cool little turnaround. Uh, Just Dance 2, good little money there in Just Dance 2 if you're finding that game out and about. Uh, Shrek 2, a couple of bucks on that one there. And then we had this one here, which one uh, actually went internationally. So Wet, uh, a game that I personally hadn't heard of before on the PlayStation 3. Uh, I think it was 22 plus 20. So some really good money in the, in the uh, video games, guys. I'm always looking for these things. And if you've got any that you want to sell, I'm happy to buy. Pretty keen to show you the new third bedroom, guys. I've got the shelving finally set up and complete, and it is running an absolute dream. So I've got eight shelves, um, or I should say eight tubs, set up and ready to go over there. Um, I've got my storage running pretty well. As you can see, I've got my winter gear uh, in the cupboard here. And I've got some books and uh, some CDs up there. And then over here, I've got my big wall. Oh, look at that. Big wall of DVDs. Oh, that's why we're out there sourcing DVDs today, guys, because it is a big part of my business. Um, now, I've got some sales here. I'm going to turn the camera around, and I'm going to take you through media, and then one item of clothing that we had sell as well. All right, so I've got some DVDs to take you through. The first one that I've got here is Highlander, The Raven. That one's an addition, but then we've got seasons one to six, which is complete. So we've got a $94 sale price for that, plus a $40 shipping charge to Chile. It's amazing what people buy from you, hey? Um, this one here as well, we've got the Vampire Diaries. Um, I've got a $30 sale price on that. Um, that's not too bad. I would have liked a few more dollars, but the Vampire Diaries, it's a pretty common DVD series, so 30 bucks, I'm just happy to grab it. Uh, a really cheap sale price there on Californication, the sixth season. I've uh, got about seven there. Come fly with me. You saw that in the video that we're watching right now. Uh, we've got a $27.50 sale price there, which was good. Uh, nine months. This was in my recent, uh, this was the first episode of the Charizard series, I think it was. $18 for that one there, which is an absolute steal. And then this one here as well, Simpsons Kiss and Tell. That one went for about $14.50 from memory. So some good wins there in the DVDs. Now down here, I sold this Brisbane Lions t-shirt uh, it's a long sleever. Um, there it is there. Really nice little tee here with the old school Brisbane Lions logo. Uh, a $37 sale price on that one there. So that's going to be an easy ship off in a satchel. And then I've got a little combination piece here of Dream Theatre. Uh, the CD collection. I've got four there. Uh, we've got a $30 sale price, I think, for those three there. Um, that should ship off for about $7.50. So guys, this room, how good. I've got, all my, I've got so much room to grow. I'm even putting my old stock that I've sold there because I've got so much space. And the Ninja Turtles there, how good's that? That is just looking an absolute feature piece right down there. Um, hopefully, we can sell a few more of these. So I think it's about 14 sales from uh, this weekend that I've got to bag up and ship off tomorrow morning. There's a few more sales at mum and dad's place that I've got to go and pick up. And there's a fair bit of stock that I've got to bring back across to here as well. But um, cool to see a few sales come through uh, this weekend. I did want to take you through my total gross revenue number for being full-time on eBay. And that figure is $107,000 this financial year. So really stoked to see six figures. I'm, I'm officially a six-figure eBay reseller, so that's kind of cool. Uh, it's definitely been a milestone that I wanted to tick off. I've, I've had the 100,000 uh, over the course of a calendar year, but never in a financial year. So two years in the game, I've finally been able to get there, um, which is really, really cool. And I think for anyone out there that wants to be a six-figure seller, firstly, let me know in the comments below if that is your goal, and maybe we can speak a little bit more in depth uh, maybe on Instagram because I'm always happy to have a chat, but it really does come down to consistency and just continuing to learn and grow and, and building your knowledge on the craft. So if you've got a certain niche category to hone in on and learn and understand, that's going to help you generate sales if you can be consistent with sourcing that item and listing that item on the platform. So uh, it's pretty boring. It's pretty cut and dry. There's no real science behind it. It's just if you give eBay what it wants, it's going to give you back the sales that you need. So um, keep grinding it out, keep getting there, and uh, you will achieve that six figures if that's your goal. Um, I'm stoked. I've got really big plans for the next couple of months and years to come. Um, it's going to be an equal split. A lot of my time into eBay, a lot of my time into YouTube. Really just want to grow both. That's the game. And um, at the moment, I think it's in the right track. It's going the right way. So hopefully you're enjoying these videos. Let me know in the comments if you are. There's a video here on like 10 tips, 10 tips for success on eBay. So hopefully you can get some value out of that one. Appreciate you being here for this. I'll see you soon.